Okay, so OptiBrain is the evaluation app, and what we can do is hook it up to collect, and, and this happens to be a display of some of the brain maps. We can um, map several different frequency bands on here, and the other feature that it has is that we can compare. We really like mostly to compare between or within a person, um, so we might have them uh, in a resting state and then we might have them in a performance state. We might have them thinking one thing versus another and we can start to look for the differences and see which ones create the most synergy or serenity if that's what we're after. And um, so the compare feature has been really helpful. Then the other app is OptiTrain which I'll pull up here and OptiTrain has serenity in it which is going to teach you to pretty much quiet all four of those sensors it's really a measure of efficiency in the brain. It, it isn't a measure of relaxation. We would do that a different way, but um, it would be excellent for people who have a little more anxiety than they like. And then synergy is the one that's for performance. So it's the final second right before you initiate motion that we'd like your brain to be in a synergistic state. Now people get there all different ways and that's fine, that's unique to them. But the 30 years of research kept showing us this pattern of synergy that exists right before um, people pull the trigger and that's what's actually predictive of performance. Okay, so people are often asking us what are the strategies that I'm supposed to be using in order to get into a place of serenity or synergy and, and um, the music and the videos are designed to help them figure it out for themselves, but we do help them. And just like a teacher or coach, they'll come in and help the student with, or the golfer with what they might be thinking about. And, you know, in our early research, the cues that people told us they were using when they performed their best were target and feel. And so um, we can, some people will do that. They'll go be more at the target or they'll be more into the feel of the motion that they're doing. And that will help lower the music and get them into a good place. I'd say the other half of the people have no clue what they're doing. And part, and, and that's okay because the brain is still being trained. Uh, neurons that fire together, wire together. So as long as they keep doing the trials and they keep lowering the music, they're learning to create that pattern in their brain. And then they're worried lots of times that when they get on the golf course it won't be there. But, but that's not the case because they're training a pattern, just like you do with your physical skill. So about half of the people have no clue what they're doing, but they're, but they're still training the brain. And I think the reason is that the apps are training how you think. The teacher, the instructor, the person can come in with what you think, and that's kind of the window into your focus of attention. But in my research, what I've seen over the years is that um, how you think is equally if not import more important than what you think. So the app can teach them how they think. One of our recent episodes with training was uh, a, a lady who's a four handicap, very good amateur, a very successful business person who came and was having trouble with yips, chipping yips actually. And so uh, I did some of the things I, I normally would do with people in terms of behaviors and routine and things like that. And so I finally pulled out the headset and put it on her and got her on the music. So the music's just playing in the background and she's um, performing some chips and uh, I couldn't believe the change in the demeanor. Um, she got very quiet and very focused and um, started chipping quite well and I think she only did maybe 15-20 chips but I asked her what she was doing because her her demeanor was so different. She says, well I'm just lowering the music, that's all I'm doing. And, um, I learned the next day that she went out and played in the afternoon and shot 66, so it was a pretty good story. I think she got in a place that I'm not sure she'd ever been in before on the golf course and it helped her perform. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the entire series at golfsciencelab.com slash opti and get our complete guide to using the Muse headbands and the opti apps to improve your performance and your mental game on the golf course.